material science, uh, um, uh, theoretical predictions uh, very often uh, take uh, um, perfect uh, material structures. Uh, but, uh, as we know, materials are not perfect. Uh, they host defects, so uh, our interest is in uh, characterizing those defects. And maybe just to give a comparison, uh, 70 years ago, when silicon started to be exploited for the chips, um, uh, uh, people have as well thought about how to use the defects, and now they're using the defects to dope these uh, silicon materials. So uh, uh, defects doesn't have to be uh, detrimental, they could be as well beneficial, so uh, they are not always uh, uh, fatal, they can be uh, vital. There are many techniques that can characterize uh, uh, materials, uh, starting from uh, the, uh, the transmission electron microscopy, scanning electron microscopy, um, um, all probe microscopies as well characterize the materials, um, spectroscopies as well. Um, in the uh, um, added value of the single molecule characterization is that uh, unlike, uh, for example, transmission electron microscopy, uh, where we face the challenges that when uh, material is interacting with the electron beam, we can uh, induce the defects is the, in this uh, um, monoatomic uh, sheets of a material. Um, and um, also we are limited to uh, uh, pretty small uh, uh, imaging areas. Um, in a, in a, a wide field uh, imaging, we can um, uh, uh, monitor uh, defects uh, on the uh, scales of hundreds of microns. Uh, so this already uh, gives some um, uh, potential applications that uh, would be used to screen uh, numbers of defects in materials that are grown on a large, uh, large areas. Um, for integration of 2D materials in the devices, uh, uh, the community always tries to exploit the ways uh, to grow these materials on a large scale and uh, therefore it would be good to have uh, maybe additional technique that can provide some, uh, not, it's not competing with the uh, standard technologies but uh, adds additional information. <laughs>